Good morning, y'all. Today is 9-19. And I saw somebody had on Facebook at 9-19. Today, it'll be 9-19-19. 9-19. So, Friends of Christ, John 15, 14 through 17 says, well, this is the lesson for the day. There is no higher privilege than becoming a friend of Jesus Christ. And that is what he calls those of us who have believed and received him as our Savior and Lord. What an amazing thought that Jesus died for us and suffered our punishment for sin so that we could have a relationship with the Father through him. Sometimes people get the idea that the Lord is some distant deity who is busy with global problems but isn't concerned about individuals. Or perhaps they think that he's an uninvolved creator who made mankind and left them to figure everything out on their own. The truth is that the true true Tryon God is a relational being who created humans in his image and invites us to enter into a relationship with him. Although sin broke that possibility, the plan of redemption was already in place. Then, at just the right time, the Son of God came into the world and reconciled to the Father. I'm sorry, and by his own death made it possible for mankind to be set free from sin and reconciled to the Father. We have been made new creatures who can now respond to our Creator with love, worship, and obedience. Christians today tend to focus on Jesus' teaching, miracles, and death on the cross. But we should not overlook the fact that He spent three years with 12 men in a tight relational bond. His priority was to instruct and prepare them to reach the world with the gospel of salvation after he returned to the Father. We are the spiritual descendants of the Lord's disciples, and he imparts his spirit to us as our closest companion and comforter. And that what gives me peace. That's what gives me peace, y'all. I lost my mother earlier this year, and on those days when I miss her and when I want to talk to her, and... Uh, I just look to the hills of which come in my hell. And I know that God is there. He's with me. He's comforting me. He's protecting me. You know, like our pastor say, um, when you try to call your friends and the answer machine come on, when you text them and they don't text you back and you just need somebody to talk to, just know that God is always there. And when you, you know, falling in love with Jesus, that's why I love this song. It's the best thing I ever done. I love to hear my uncle sing. Y'all, that is so true. You know, we're going to go through things, but we're not going to stay there. Things get bad. You know, we suffer because a lot of times, you know, like they say, um, the Lord forgives, but you're also um, disciplined. So when you're going through things and sometimes it's the storms we created on our own, he's still there. He is still there. And that just gives me confidence. It gives me peace. And when I don't know what else to do, I just go to him in prayer. And praying don't have to be on your knees with your eyes closed. I, sometimes I pray sitting in my car. Or a lot of times when I'm in the bathroom, I just sit there and I just talk to him. And, you know, that's one, you know, you can tell him anything. Oh, God, it's just it's just an amazing experience when you really have that kind of relationship with God and then you can find that peace that surpasses all understanding that type of peace man it keeps you sane and if you don't have that type of peace I challenge you to get to know Jesus for yourself you know when you're going through things and sometimes you don't even want to talk to anybody else about it go to him go to him talk to him you know, just sometimes I get in that mood when I don't really just want to be around people. Have you ever been like that? There are a lot of things going around and going on and all you want to do is stay home and get in his presence. And, and, and you, you know, you don't know which way to go when you got decisions to make. And Lord, just show me. And sometimes it'll wake me up out of my sleep. You need to do this or you need to do that. And I know it's him speaking to me. So when you can find that type of peace, I don't care what you're going through. You can be going through uh, loss of a loved one. You can be going through sickness. You can be going through financial problems, relational problems, problems with your kids. When you had a relationship with God, 
it could get you through some rough, rough patches in life. So he's a friend, y'all. He really is. And I know that for myself. I love everybody. It's Thursday. It's Friday Eve. I got a meeting tonight, so I'll be late getting home. But y'all, I don't care what you're going through, what your needs are. That friendship with Jesus... Having that friendship with him could get you through anything that you're going through in life. Because you know you're not alone. So, my camera and I just wanted to come back and leave you with those thoughts. Be blessed to all my subscribers. Thank you for stopping by. Like I said, it's all love over here. I call you all shining stars because the light that we emit brings hope to people in darkness and sickness and everything. So, be blessed, y'all. Much love. Bye.